Brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Today is Monday, October the 24th. And I'm going to share with you some of the visions that were given to me yesterday. Now, yesterday I received more than uh, 32 visions. In fact, I missed out uh, quite a few. So maybe around 35 visions yesterday plus audible voice. Now, please remember that the Lord has given us two greatest commandments. That is to love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul, and all our strength. And to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. So each day we move along the path of righteousness into holiness. And please remember the Lord has asked us to prepare three gifts each day. That is faith, hope, and love. <clears throat> and of course, the greatest of all is love. That's why the first thing we mention is about love. Now... Please remember the day is getting uh, closer but not getting further. Now, uh, I want to go uh, actually for the video uh, for the scripture is uh, into this one, Daily Break. You can go to the English, our Daily Break, and listen to uh, the message is about God in the details. In fact, God is in the details, all right? You know, something supernatural happened today, this morning again, but I'm going to share with you tomorrow, all right? Because that one is for tomorrow, the Chinese and the English all alike. Now, <clears throat> the daily bread, and then it is from Exodus chapter 2, verse 1 to 10. And then, and I'm going not going to read, please go into it. And uh, the more we listen, the more we know about the Word of God, the more we come to know the Lord, okay? And then the second, uh, well, they've got Chinese one as well, but we are going to, okay, where is it now? This We are going to Psalm 33, and I'm going to read from first verse verse. Oh, sorry, verse 1 to 5 and then 18 to 22. Now, sins and rejoice in the Lord. Even this morning, the Lord gave us another token of love. So, Lord, you are worthy to be praised. We thank you. We thank you for your love us so much. And each day, you want to give your love to us, your token of love. Thank you, Lord. So let's look at Psalm 33, verse 1. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous people. It is fitting for the upright to praise Him. So if you are upright, praise the Lord. If you are righteous, praise the Lord. If you are upright, that means you don't tell lies at all. You know, you each day you live a joyous life because you don't lie and your or any other any sins shall be washed clean by the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ because of him and that died for us on the cross and his blood wash us clean that clean that today we can have the salvation and today we can have the hope that very soon we are going home verse 2 praise the Lord with the hum make music to him on the 10 strings lyric Sing to the Lord joy, sing to him a new song. Play skillfully and shout for joy. For the word of the Lord is right and true. Amen. He is faithful in all that he is doing. He is faithful in all he does. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his unfailing love. Praise the Lord indeed the next one i continue with verse 18 but the eyes of the lord are on those who fear him so those who love him shall have the fear of god you know it doesn't mean oh lord i'm so scared of you no 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 you shall rejoice in the lord and you know that uh, anything any problem you pray to the lord lord if it is this thing is wrong please teach me i'm not sure tell me okay he will definitely tell you he will definitely reveal to you okay now that's why sometimes um how to say every day we need to go to the word of god if you haven't finished reading the Bible at least once, please go to the Bible and read, all right? Through the Bible, the Lord will speak to you. And that's what happened to me for many, many, many years, okay? Even until today. And then uh, my daughter as well, so she always jump up saying, God, speak to me, God, speak to me. Okay, let's look at the next one. But God's eyes are on those who fear him. On those whose hope is in his unfailing love. 
verse 19 to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine right so the lord uh, deliver us from death and keep us safe and alive during the day uh, during this end time during the day of famine all right verse 20 we wait in hope for the lord so we wait on the lord all the time he is our help and our shield in him our hearts rejoice for we trust in his holy name. Verse 22, 22, the last verse, make your, now 33, chapter 30, verse, oh, sorry, Psalm 33, okay, finish. 22, new heaven, new earth. So may your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. You know, when I'm reading all this on the, on the screen, on the computer screen, is a big blur you know as you know my eyes is getting so cold worse okay as the day get closer uh to the day of going home so please be understanding all right so uh sometimes when you see things blur you just show off confidence you know so let's look at next one <clears throat> i'm going to uh, share with you what's on the journal page all right so on the right hand side uh, we are expecting to go home on the 28th and 29th of November and Jewish calendar the Kishlek the 4th and 5th the lunar calendar the 5th and 6th of November the 5th and 6th of the 11th month so the rest please go to it and then you can see the clock is uh, 8 40 now I believe there is the time uh for the britain uh, for britain it is uh the green rig meridian time now please remember this may not be the hours that we go home may not be the minutes that we go home just like what happened this morning i'm going to share with you tomorrow so let's look at <clears throat> journal page number one you know yesterday i shared with you already but today i put it down again because this is uh yesterday because I got up after the about five hours sleep and then I saw the vision so I share right away but this time we repeat again because it's uh, vision on the 23rd of October so it's just I saw 436 on the northeast direct, uh, direction or northeast corner and then I say Lord I just felt that it doesn't mean that uh finish on the or finish on the 6th of november and go to the heavenly kingdom i knew that it doesn't mean that there's some other meaning you know when the lord uh <clears throat> show you something he will tell you what it means <clears throat> if you're not sure ask the lord again until he show you all right so that what happened to me and then i came on asking and the heard the audible voice saying mayo Mayo, mayo means no more, okay? <clears throat> Sometimes when you see the negative words, you tend to say, Lord, don't tell me we have sinned against you and done something wrong. We are not going home. Okay, mayo, no more. Now, what does it mean by no more? They brought to me the wisdom and knowledge <clears throat> that mean on that day, no more on this earth. So what is that no more, okay? So it means... uh remember this vision was seen yesterday not today okay so they mean yesterday according to vision and what we know as well still have 36 days okay 36 days to enter the kingdom of god now look at the page i wrote down 36 that was yesterday but today only 35 days <clears throat> and then next one i saw in the sky okay it's a golden figure all right, golden figure with a golden outline because it's in the spiritual, just like a mighty angel, you know. Mighty angel is a commander like this, heavily army, the commander, okay, in the sky, very, uh, in the sky, okay, like this. And the sky was dark. And then later I saw a hand coming up and the hand is going up, okay, show me the left hand. It is the left hand, left hand, okay, the uh, left hand uh, in the west, okay, in the west, so saying that going up, all right, going up. Maybe in the east, will you, the Lord will use the right hand, okay, so that is just the way the Lord show us. Now, next one is, I saw the Lord wrote, Jan, Jan means people, people, and in the middle, there's a line coming down. And I initially, I thought the Lord would write 
Jo, jo means sit down, okay? No, this one, the line coming down means the boundary, okay? The separation, uh, and the heavenly kingdom on the other side. So, then on the left hand side, that means the people on this earth, okay, will cross over to the other side, all right? Cross over to the new heaven, new earth. That's what it means. All right, next one is, uh, if you look at the time, it's 433. So what is by 433? The main, the fourth of Kishlet, the west of finish. okay? Is it this one? Yeah, okay. Next one is, if you look at Zhen Zhen, ha, Zhen Zhen also have 2-2, two, two, okay? And then that means we have new heaven, new earth. 2-2 two, two stands for new heaven, new earth. If you go to Isaiah chapter 66, verse 22, 6-6, six, six, main, main, kind, main, 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 and then 2-2, two, two, uh, they mention about new heaven, new earth, verse 22. Well, if you think about it, you know, the scripture with the numbers, that means a lot. If you really, the Lord will show you, even through the scripture, the number of the scripture, you can find the secret, the mystery, okay, of God's timing, the mystery of rapture. Now, next one, I saw a cross, and I saw a figure on the cross. The Lord remind us, it is through his death that, Okay, we are purchased by his blood. It's through his death that we can have the rapture, we can have the salvation. Today, we can have the eternal life. Now, next one is seven. Okay, what does it mean by seven? Seven means divine completion. And remember, we will be on the other side for the first day. On the other side is the lunar calendar, 11th month on the seventh day. Okay, seventh day. Now, seven o'clock going to one, one coming down to seven, one coming down to seven is 17. 17 is victory. So we shall be on the other side on the seventh of the lunar 11th month. <clears throat> okay, next one. It's like this. Because I went to sleep earlier so that uh, my eyes can rest and so on that I can, I could do my work. And then I set my alarm at 4.30. Now, before my alarm sounded, I woke up. You know, it, I would just automatically walk up, of course, by the grace of the Holy Spirit. Okay, just woke up and I saw 4.30 very big in front of me. And I was still dreaming like this. Okay, 4.30. Okay, I, I record down because I always put my phone next to me. So that when I see vision, I can record down. And uh, when you record down on your phone, there will be time as well. Normally, I'll record the time. And then 4.30. All right, receive it. 4.30. And then just seconds later, my alarm sounded. My alarm sounded. 4.30. So what does it mean by that? It means that the Lord been telling us is life, Lily. It is not prophecy anymore. It's coming to pass. It's life. Okay, next one is I heard audible voice. Actually, this audible voice is like my voice inside me. Actually, it's my spirit voice, all right, inside me. Inside me, I could hear it with my, uh, really clearly. It's a person's voice, but that voice sound like mine, okay? And say what? Say how? Okay. What does it mean? How mean good? After this, everybody will be good, okay? So every one of us will be good. We will be on the other side. Next one is I saw the milk cup of my elder grandson. Okay, it's beautiful cup. And um, uh, there was a scroll, purple color, and a handle at the one o'clock, and the scroll also at the one o'clock. So what is mean by that? One o'clock means the new beginning, okay, new beginning. And they handle also one clock. We mean we are soon enter the new beginning. All right. So the time is four four two. After I heard the voice say, "How this I like, we how the mean we are on the other side new beginning. Say that we are all going to be good. Well, next one is a circle. Inside the circle, I saw four thirty again. Now this time the Lord want to give us. Uh, to be aware of another information, what is it in the circle? 430. <clears throat> now, four stand for heavenly kingdom. 
That's through the vision many years ago. Four stand for heavenly kingdom. And what about 30? 30 in the heavenly kingdom. In other words, we are going to leave okay, the west on the 28th and the east on the 29th of November. But the next day is the 30th of November. We shall be on the other side for the first day. Okay, the first day, the new beginning. All right. Now, next one. Uh, where are we? Number eight. It's like this. I saw the Lord through a circle in the northwest corner, northeast corner, and he threw a, a stroke like this from uh, at the 10 o'clock position, but it's a horizontal line. So 10 stands for completion. And from 9 to 3 or 3 to 9, there's Kish Lake the third. We complete our courses. We complete our degree, okay? We complete uh, the the work that we are doing every day, we complete our preparation, okay, complete our waiting, all right. Then on the, that is at the 10 o'clock position, at the 11 o'clock position, that is rupture, of course, on the 11th, uh, Kishlek, the third is 27th, so the next day is the 28th, okay, the 11 o'clock position, and the next one, uh, completion at 12 o'clock, that is 29. So it doesn't mean that it will definitely always like that. No, no. It depends how the Lord want to use it, okay? You want to use the so-called the clock. Next one is, I saw a sheep steering wheel. Sheep steering wheel. This remind me of a dream about five years ago. <clears throat> five years ago, yes, yes, yes. At least five years ago now more than five years now i rem i had a dream i had a dream that my younger my young brother hua chiang you know the the long standing friends okay is ko pisang is uh his his former classmates since they were in they were in primary one and then and then this young man uh is not young man anymore yeah <laughs> about a little bit younger than me and then he got in a car accident and he has been uh on wheelchair all the time until now i hope he's better but anyway he has the hope to go home all right so i had a dream that uh there was a big cruise ship came and uh I, then i saw a man in front of me on the beach and that is his father his father used to be my english teacher okay and our bahasa malaysia teacher and then i saw him all right so that me we are soon going to the other side all right so this ship steering wheel in the middle one in the middle part okay they got eight handle all right eight means home eight handle and then in the middle there's like portal, the spinning wheel, like spinning, 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 okay, spinning, and then uh, in the very middle, there's a light, that means the, through the tunnel, there's light at the end of the tunnel, there's new heaven, new earth, all right, so eight stands for home, there is the new beginning, eight, everybody know that it stands for new beginning, right? Now, next one is, I saw three circles, two in red and one in uh, bright and then green. Now, it can mean that the two red means the 28th and 29th of November. Another one, bright and light green can mean the 7th in the lunar 11th month, okay, 7th day. Or it means the Gregorian calendar, November the 30th, the 30th, all right? Now, next one. I saw the word, the numbers 7 and 8. 7 stand for divine completion. And then 8 stand for new beginning, our new home, all right? And they got bright light, you know, just behind the 8, all right? Next one is, I mean, the Lord is showing us that He is talking about the first day on the new earth okay, uh, for the uh, vision yesterday, all right? The information for yesterday, talking about the first day on the new earth. And then next one is, I saw a man, his hand was on the, we call it what, uh, we call it uh, Valenda, uh, we call it deck, normally here we call it deck, uh, there, there's no roof, okay, you can see the sky outside, and he put the, his left hand on the, on the bar, okay, on the, 
bar. Uh, we call, is it okay if you? I hope you can understand the bar there, the yeah, the stand there. And then his left hand, he was pointing to me. Okay, you. Okay, <laughs> to me, and he was looking at me. That me is ninety degree. Okay, what is by ninety degree here? So coming to me, that is at the six o'clock position. And then three means finish. <clears throat> In other word. Ah, uh, on the lunar eleventh month, on the sixth is into completion. Into completion. All right. Next one is if you look at the time, it's four twenty-two. Ah,、uh, that also means the fourth of Kishle, new heaven, going to new heaven, new earth. And he was wearing blue top. Okay. Now, ah.、Uh, Uh, okay, he can say he can means ah、uh, the left hand to the three o'clock position means to finish. Okay, that means to finish, Lily. I'll come for you. All right, okay, come for us. Now next one is I heard the audible. Oh、uh, no no no! Is ah、uh, the sound really clear? It's just like you know the old type of switch. You switch on and you switch off. There's quite loud sound, right? But I don't know whether it's on or off. That could means on, okay? On, okay. Very soon to be on. The Lord was doing testing, testing, okay, testing. So on, off, okay. So uh, on, the door open. We will go to the other side, and the door will be closed. Next one is <clears throat> I saw the word、uh, at the bottom there. 下得多 I was thinking, Lord, 下得多 We are not going down. We are going up. <laughs> so the door means what? Means heaven coming down and to get many people. Heaven coming down to get many people. If you look at the numerical number, is three plus eleven plus six is equal to twenty. Twenty means salvation. Now next one is, I saw three marker pen and I saw the hand of the Holy Spirit took away one, remaining two. So two marker pen, as you can see, that is eleven. Okay, two marker pens they are eleven, and then two can also stand for going home. All right, and it is pointing at two to eight position. In other word, November two eight is the west going home. Okay, next one is、uh, I saw myself. At the water, at the sink. Okay, look like my hand. Okay, I was cleaning my, I was rinsing, rinsing my right hand. Okay, just one hand, rinsing my right hand. And then, ah,、uh, after rinsing, my hand look like mine. Okay, of course it has to be the work of the Holy Spirit. Okay, the hand was doing ah、uh, thumbs plus the first finger to form zero, and the three fingers up. Okay. And then it's a little bit curved in, so that means it's going to come to zero to finish to go home, and then the time is four thirty again four thirty. Okay, because the first day on the other side shall be the thirtieth of November in the heavenly kingdom. So everybody get ready. Make sure we pray for family members, okay, and then relatives and friends. Not to forget about your parents, okay, and your brother and sister, nieces and nephews. They are your family too, and most important, the closest, your husband, wife, your children, your grandchildren, your son-in-law, your daughter-in-law, everyone. So please be ready in Jesus' name. Amen.